Welcome to this quick video covering some of the UI changes for stream creation in Spring Cloud Dataflow 1.3. So it has always been possible to create multiple streams on the Create Stream page. So I could create a very basic, uh, I'm going to create a pair of streams here that can be linked via a destination, name channel destination, called Share Data. This is how you would have done it uh, pre 1.3. You can still do it this way. And let's connect that up to a file. So I've created a pair of streams. You can see the DSL here. Each line is a, going to be a stream definition. And there seems to be some duplication here. Why is there two instances of shared data on here? Uh, they kind of they mean the same thing in this context. These two streams are going to share data through that channel. And if I change the name of one, I have to manually go and change the name of the other one. So we've worked on that in Dataflow 1.3. Let me show you what you do now. So I'm going to build the same thing, but I can actually wire this up to the other end of the shared data channel. Okay. So now we're building the same pair of streams, but we're showing in the UI how they are related. So you'll see I've got the same exact definitions in the DCL text box but now we can see they're related. And if I want to extend this further, maybe I've got another JDBC source coming in that I also want to send data to the same name channel. Maybe I've got another place I want to store that data. I can wire it up like this. You see? So there are four streams now, but the graph is showing how they are related and how are they are communicating through this single uh, name channel. You can see the four stream definitions up here. And if I change this uh, definite name, share data two, you'll see all four of them updated. I didn't have to manually go and update four different name destinations. Now we call this feature fan in, fan out because you can see they are fanning into that name channel and fan out, fanning out. Um, and it copes with further levels of nesting complexity, like I've had name channel connected to another name channel and so on. So that's the key feature in 1.3. You can get a better idea of how a set of streams are going to work together as you build them. What else have we got in 1.3? Just another couple of uh, quality of life improvements really to help speed things up a bit. Suppose I was, I built this simple stream and later I decided that, oh, I want to have a name channel between these two because I want something else to feed into that channel or I want to tap into the output of that channel. You can use one of the new controls on the link to say insert destination. And you'll see it split it automatically for me. I've got two streams now and I can bring out other syncs and join them up to the same destination. Uh, if I choose to delete this, you see there's a lot less messing around rewiring links. Uh, the last thing I want to show you is uh, around taps. We've got a different representation for taps. So if I add, say, JWC sync, normally old taps would show as another link from the bottom of a cell, but this time they actually show as a, you connect them to the same port as the regular stream, but the dotted line indicates that this is a tap stream. Okay. And we can see up here that our primary stream is HTTP file. A secondary stream is the tap stream. And you'll see this name sprang to life as I created that tap link because it, it needed a name to build this part of the tap stream. So it automatically generated a name for that guy. Uh, if I want to flip these around, so suddenly I decide that actually I want this to be the primary and this to be the tap one, I can use the other link control to flip these links. Okay. So now the JDBC one is the primary and the file one is the sync. You can see the primary ones there. So there you go, fan in, fan out for getting a better overview as you build streams on how they work together. And another couple of quality of life improvements for when you're working in the canvas. Thanks for watching.